Hi, good morning, or good afternoon really. I took this morning off, I made a conscious decision yesterday evening, coming down off the hill, feet were sore, legs were a bit sore, everything was a bit stiff, and I just made the decision to take this morning off. So I got a really good night's sleep, didn't set the alarm, was in bed at ridiculously early o'clock yesterday morning, yesterday evening, but I still woke up at about 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning, and we've just rolled over and we're back to sleep. Um, got up, had about a lazy breakfast, and then hit the trail just after noon, about quarter past 20 past 12. And as you can see, I'm in the woods again, absolutely beautiful Stephen which is the mountain we came down and around yesterday almost went over uh, nearly reached the top but the route just took us away at the very last minute and um, it's just up here shrouded in the mist and cloud it's nearly worse today than it was yesterday in terms of being overcast and cloudy and foggy but um Castle Oliver is off to the left hand side and Gallows Hill is the old ruin on the little mound of hill right beside it. It's a beautiful morning, haven't met anybody out on the way though. It's kind of been characteristic, quite disappointing that the lack of people I've met along the way. There's a group of lads yesterday up and going to the top of Seafin that we passed. But other than that, it's been quiet, quiet, quiet for the last few weeks, last nine days. But you know, probably not the right time of year I'm probably the only one crazy enough to be out at this time of year it is beautiful again this morning it's a little bit overcast a little bit of drizzle from time to time nothing too strenuous or too wet we'll just keep going so I'm here at the gates to Castle Oliver which we saw from the valley the far side of the river uh, so far side of the valley I should say and you can see behind me the gate lodge this was just the gate lodge this being of course the gate you can see in the distance uh, slightly where can I see it there uh, can we zoom in no we can't I learned that yesterday uh, I'm trying to see it on the screen but you can see it kind of there the the turrets and everything to do with the castle it's pretty impressive flag flying so obviously someone's at home but uh, yeah this is the gate lodge I've been passing by these kind of things for the last week. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nobody lives in it now, of course, but this is where whoever was in charge of access to and from the castle back when it was built in Famine, Ireland, 1849. It was built by the Oliver Gascoigne sisters. And uh, yeah, on lands that were given to the family by Cromwell. Oodles and oodles and oodles of history. I'm about two miles outside of Kilfinnan, three kilometers outside of Kilfinnan, and I am shattered. Um, having a lazy day today. The, the Gallows Hill, the castle on top of Gallows Hill, which you just saw, is absolutely spectacular from a distance. Um, and of course, that is part of the domain of Castle Oliver, which is a much more modern looking red brick, red sandstone castle. Uh, built in the famine, 1849. And it still looks majestic across the way. There is a, a rumor about uh, a certain American, I don't know what I call her, a certain American person who's more famous for her arse and breaking the internet than any talent she's ever possessed, uh, who honeymooned there and left because the Wi Fi wasn't good enough. Like the castle's built in 1849. I think you can get over the Wi Fi for a day or two. Um, I've left the route. The route was just uh, taking me back up into the mountains and I didn't fancy it so the thankfully there's a route uh, a road into town but three kilometers versus about six or seven K over the distance and I just didn't fancy it so I'm taking a shortcut today I still end up in Kilfinnan about uh, where it's where, where which is where I spent last night but I'm back in town tonight and um, head north from tomorrow just to give you an idea of where we were yesterday that hill that mountain in the distance is Seafin and we were up and over that yesterday uh, it's probably a 
way bigger than it looks it goes way up into the clouds and uh, we were kind of up there in the mist yesterday but the visibility was reasonably good for us but um, absolutely fantastic day yesterday uh, in terms of the atmosphere the two lads with me was great and uh, but yeah give you an idea of what the conditions are like today it's overcast it's cloudy it's misty uh, not so much down here but definitely up where we were yesterday that's why I've kind of elected to stay off the mountain this afternoon <laughs> I've reached the village of Kilfinnan, this time on foot, as opposed to yesterday when we got a lift here. And it's beautiful. We've got this amazing water. It's not a waterfall, it's a fountain. So we've got this lovely fountain here in the middle of the town. And it's quite a picturesque little village. Uh, loads of activity, bustling with life. I've met loads of people on the trail today uh, out walking, which is probably down to the fact that it's a Sunday. But also, I think it's down to the fact that it's a bit of an outdoorsy kind of town. Everything revolves around the mountains, the trails, bikes. And that's kind of cool and rare enough in Ireland. Now, time for feed. Got to find some food somewhere. <laughs> 